Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to P. Dinah. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to talk about Miss Princess Henry is what she would be called should she lose the titles. But I think more importantly, perhaps maybe that is a good idea. And I'm going to talk to you about why that just might be a good idea. Let's get into it. So we all know that it could be a possibility for uh, Megan to lose her title as the Duchess of Sussex. And that is if a bill, something happened within the, the rules within the United Kingdom. Now, I find it interesting because I hear some commentators saying that it would not be the king's ability to do this. It would have to be an act of parliament. Well... I went on the website for the UK Parliament and I saw that there was a bill that, well, some information, I don't know if you call it a bill like we do here, a bill, but a removal of, removal of titles bill. So yes, you do call it a bill. <laughs> okay, but this is what's interesting. The last update on this was in November of 2023, and it is information that was introduced that would give the power of Parliament the ability to grant removal of powers by the king. The king. And this is what it says. Give the monarch powers to remove the titles to provide that such removals can be done by the monarch on their own initiative or following a recommendation of a joint committee of parliament and for connected purposes be enacted by the king's most excellent majesty by and with the advice and consent of the lord spiritual and temporal and commons in this present parliament assembled and by the authority of the same as follows so one of them that would give the power to remove the titles it says his majesty number one his majesty may remove any titles be gone with you title go kick rocks <laughs> you're not wanted anymore here <laughs> get rid of them number two where his majesty has exercised the power under subsection i guess where the majesty would allow such things to occur if the person, uh, letter A, if the person for whom a title has been removed is a peer, their name must be struck out of the role of peerage and all rights of such appear to receive a writ of summons and to sit in the House of Lords or to take part in the election of representative, peers shall cease and determine. B, all privileges and all rights to any dignity or title, whether in respect of a peerage or under any royal warrant or letters patent, shall cease and determine. So, and it goes on to list several other ways, but they're clearly saying that they want to give the power of the king to be able to strip those titles. Now, the other problem that we can't, we have is, OK, well, if he strips the titles of the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, then they will resort to Princess uh, Prince and Princess Henry. Yes, that's what would happen. Well, some people are saying that that would not be good. More specifically, some royal commentators were speaking about this. And they said that if Megan would be known as Princess Henry, if she lost her title, but it is unlikely to happen. So some people just think this bill that is looking to pass is just it's just unlikely to happen. But I, I you know I say au contraire, mon frère. <laughs> au contraire. You know why? Because clearly acts are being taken to make the steps possible to remove the titles. We have never seen anything like this before with Harry and Meghan. And something must be done. And Parliament, people who are within Parliament are trying to do just that. Because they see the long-term ramifications of someone like a Meghan Markle having a title. They're saying that a lot of people believe that Harry and Meghan, they take advantage of their titles and it, they would like to see them stripped. There's a lot of people that want to see their titles stripped, but that's not a conversation that has happened between King Charles and Prince William. I don't think that is true either, because imagine if your brother is out acting a fool, you're going to your father and you're going to say, Papa, Daddy, Father, 
my brother is acting like a wackadoo. <laughs> and I'm sick of it, quite frankly, and I want you to do something about it. <laughs> That's what would happen. The son would go to the father and, and say, do something. And I believe William has, has done just that. So there's no doubt that Harry, I mean, the king and William have spoken about this. And then they go on to say, these royal experts, technically, Charles and William know that if they strip Harry and Meghan of their titles of Duke and Duchess, they would revert to being Prince and Princess Henry. The Prince title cannot be removed because it's Harry's birthright. Um, it would take an act of parliament and that is simply not a priority for them at this time. However, I believe maybe it's not an act of priority, but there are a lot of things that are a priority for parliament. And I believe this should be one of them because you look at what Harry and Meghan are doing more specifically, like I always say, Meghan, she is taking those title she is running like a child in the candy store and she's trying to run buck wild in the whole world trying to do something to make money with these titles it's unprecedented folks and something must be done and her getting the name of Hint prince harry is going to be a good thing for her now let me just keep talking hear me out folks hear me out harry's birthright uh is one thing and i think his birthright also brings the fact that if Harry's going to come to America and maybe one day become an American citizen, can he still keep that title? Can he really still keep it? Well, this is what I found as well. So the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 10, prohibits the states from granting any titles of nobility to anyone, whether they are citizens or not. Okay, we get that. Section 9 says, of the same article as the same prohibit prohibition for the federal government, an American citizen cannot be named a prince, duke, or any other noble title by our own government. However, the Constitution does not ban American citizens from receiving titles of nobility from other countries. And a child could actually be born into both. So it looks like Harry's children and them are born of both. However, I did hear that Harry, that Parliament stripped the children of their prince and princess title. I don't know if that is true. I saw that out there. I didn't see anything on the Parliament's website about that. If you know this to be be the case, email me, please. I need to know if this is official. I'm just learning the ropes trying to figure all this stuff out, y'all. So you got to help a sister girl out. OK, just help her out because <laughs> I'm willing to learn. OK, as you probably remember, a person who was born as the child of an American citizen typically is automatically a citizen. Yeah, we get that. You're American. When you give birth to someone in America, they automatically become a citizen. Even if you're not an American and you give birth in this country, you can be a citizen. Some craziness has happened. And I don't know why that's not, that's even possible because a lot of people come to our country. I'll have birth and, you know, OK, you American child. They're like they're like granting titles of American citizenship citizenship just by giving birth in america like i don't know is you think that's fair let me know what you think okay but anyway an american citizen could carry a person of nobility and have a child who was born a citizen due to one parent also a titled noble from the other parent um and if if you think that it's far-fetched we remember king edward the eighth and wallace simpson how you know they never had any children but she the wallace simpson was granted duchess of windsor so article one section nine prohibits any person of noble title from holding any public office unless congress consents so if megan wanted to be in a political office, run for a public office, she would have to get permission from Congress to do that because she holds a title that was granted to her and she's clearly using her title to profit off of it. But she would not be able to do that anymore should she run for public office. And this is why when she lobbied on behalf of child care to our public officials, that was wrong. Megan doesn't care about breaking rules and she doesn't care, I believe, on having other people vouch for her as she breaks these rules because she was given certain numbers by certain people to give her the advantage to reach out to people in public office here in America to lobby on behalf of certain things that she's passionate about. And she's not really allowed to do that. I mean, she is, but she is. And it's like she has a title. There are certain responsibilities that come with having a title in America. You can't do this. You can't. 
And if you can, you know, be careful because they're already saying you can't run for public office with that title. Now you're trying to lobby on behalf of a public official on things that you believe in holding a title. Huh? Uh, you're not allowed to do this. And this is why I think it's so good that people are looking ahead to have these titles removed because Megan is doing things that she is not allowed to do. She doesn't care about these constitutions. We also know that Harry doesn't care either. He calls us bonkers. There's all these things that these younger generation people that have somewhat, you know, power, they do things thinking that they can do anything without consequences and that they have the right to do things that they're they really shouldn't be doing. Like there are certain things that come with holding these positions and having a title that you clearly do not respect. Why are you still doing things that someone should have had a talking with you? They should have sat you down. OK, you come into America. OK, look, you can do this. You cannot do this. You cannot do this, Miss Meghan Markle. Do you understand? OK, sign right here. <laughs> sign. That should have been said to Miss Megan when she came to this country holding a title, trying to go out and sell jams and all kind of, you know, wares. Like someone should have put sit this woman down. Woman, you got to have a uh, respect for this title that you hold. And you're not allowed to do these certain things. I think it's just an abomination. It really is. But hold on. We're getting why she should be called Princess Henry. Give me one second. OK, so getting back to Princess Henry. Now, they're also saying that if Meghan were to be called Princess Henry, that would really confuse the Americans. They think, well, this royal expert Seward says, I think it's probably best to just leave it because it looks unkind. Uh, uh, it don't look unkind. You know what is unkind? It's having this woman prance around in her little fairy princess acting duchess butt trying to act like she is somebody of royalty doing things that she should not be doing and going against the things of the true royals in the united kingdom that is what is unkind let's keep it straight folks what is unkind but we get back to megan and these you know having this princess henry title whether it's going to confuse americans or not whatever look we live in a new day and age information is spread like wildfire now we have an army of people who are discussing this and educating Americans and others who don't know much about it, who don't really care, but maybe they'll hear and know and understand that Megan cannot go around prancing herself as a princess unless it is through her husband, folks. Her husband affords her these luxuries. And this is what would be pressed upon a lot of people when it is official if Megan should ever become princess Henry. She will be educated by us YouTubers and us others to understand that Megan is nothing without the man who gave her her title. And I think it speaks volumes because Megan wants to prance around like she's this woman who wants to go around being this feminist and give other girls the power and the gumption to understand that you can do anything you want to do. You can do it. People just have to be encouraged to listen to you and your voice because you have a voice. Hmm, you have a voice. And Megan, it's so ironic that she only got her voice once she married a man that gave her her voice. And if she becomes Princess Henry, she will forever be entitled to only having everything that she has as long as she is called by the man's name. Because it is only through the man that Megan gets her power. It is only through the man that she can call herself a princess. It is only through the man that she will have doors open so she can have a voice to try to get on Netflix and to get a book deal and to do all these things that she's doing. It is only through the power of the man that gave it to her. And it's a smackdown to her that you are a princess because of Henry. You're only a princess because your name is now no longer your own. You have to now be called by a man's name. And Megan being called by a man's name, it takes away her power. It removes her independence of I'm a feminist because she can no longer be considered a woman who is vouching on behalf of her own ego and right of I want to empower people. No, you can empower people through your title, which is the name of a man that gave it to you. 
and we us youtubers and such will go out talking and educating the americans who are confused by why is she called a man's name why why you know we're the ones that are going to tell you well here's why folks we're going to educate you because officially megan markle is now called by a man's name she doesn't have the right to be called by her own birth name because she chose to give up her right of being named a woman Meghan Markle, she chose to take on a man's name. So how can she be a feminist? How can she be the voice to speak on behalf of all of you women and young girls about what you deserve to have when she herself gave up the right? She gave up her right to be an independent woman when she married a prince. And that is the reason why I say that we shall call this day henceforth Meghan Markle shall always ever ever be known as Princess Henry because she can't hold her own name anymore. She gave it up willingly. Call her by the man's name. And it shall be done. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens.